Okay, so this is me. Video of my homemade ram to lift me outboard motor. I'm making. This, I've made this ram because I lost the end of my finger trying to lift this motor up, and I lost it under that piece of steel that you actually turn to keep the motor up. The boat went out with a wave. I lost balance, and away it went. Took the end of my finger off. It's grown back again. I'll show you the damage beforehand though. So, this is the ram that I made. Single acting. And this is a piece. that I have made to fit to the motor without actually adding any pressure to the motor apart from where the um, shockers are there were some other rams there, air rams, gas rams uh, and that's what I've mounted it to through them holes there so I'm going to put this on here like Like that. And the pin will fit through there. And on the other side as well. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. So there's the pin. Piece of cake to put in. It's taken me about a minute and a half. That's it. It's in. I'll bolt it from this side with a big washer and a lock nut, and the same at the other side. That's it, fitted on. Now I deliberately left this piece of steel here, because this piece of steel is what those two hooks there hook onto when you go into reverse. And as it's a single acting ram, if I tried to go in reverse without it locking onto that pin, the motor would just lift. So I've left it just left it there and when this comes down it will be able to lock that will be able to lock onto that pin when I go into reverse and then it'll release when I go forward. Alright so this is the plate that I've made to go on the bottom of the transom. I've had to drill one extra hole. I've taken gone off the mounts that were originally there for the motor and I've drilled one extra hole there to carry the weight of it as it if there's any you know there will be pushing down there and um, so now I'm just going to fit it together this is my transom plate the extra plate I've made to carry the bottom of the ram it's going to go into there a pin goes through one of these pins it's got a quick release pin on it as well to actually so I can get it out should I get into bother. So now I'm going to, going to just gonna put this ram on there, bolt these three pins up, three bolts, stainless steel bolts, to the transom, uh, and then connect the top part into there. Be back in a minute. So that's where the bottom pin is going to go through, lift it up a bit, there, and then what you've got is just a pin, it just pushes on. And that leaves the ram in that position. I will then mate it up to that and put the other pin in. And now it's assembled. It 
it's on the body that I made around the motor. You can see there's clearance between the motor and the uh, extra plate that I've made. That washer there is to tie a little bit of chain to. Should we get into problems, I can just pull out the pin. In there, in that sleeve there, there's a brass wearing as well. Just to tell me if it's uh, going a bit slack or anything. It's a double ring piston inside that ram. And gravity fed down. Pump it. That's it. As you can see, the hook that grabs onto the bar in the middle just comes down nicely on it. That's it. Piece of cake. Stop it where you like, let it down where you like. Obviously, the little tube there, the little tube there is just an air um, tube to release the air out the top of the piston. And that's it, pretty neat. And that's the pump, the only thing I bought. And I will screw that down to that plate there, the white plate. And all the wires get tucked up against the transom. This is a remote control. This is a remote control. It goes to the front where the steering wheel is, uh, and easily accessible.